So this video is for those who are using a Chromebook um, to access Photoshop. Um, in that case, you don't need to download Photoshop onto the computer. You access it a little bit of a different way. Or if you are using an older computer that might not be compatible with downloading Photoshop, you can use this as well. Um, so what you do is you go to cte.nsd.org and it will have you sign in. You want to sign in with your student email, um, so just your student number at apps.nsd.org. And it will walk you through all the steps of signing into the North Shore account that you have. Um, so it'll ask you for your password. That's going to be the same password you use for all school things, like your school email. All right, and then um, you can say don't show this again so it doesn't keep asking you. And then it will log you into the Windows Virtual Desktop. So once you're logged in, it should have an all resources section here and it should have Photoshop on it. Um, it might not have all of these on yours, but it should have Photoshop and it should have one that says OneDrive. Um, so on this, you can just click on Photoshop. It will take a minute to launch. and it will have you log in with the same login on this Photoshop application here. Um, so just your student email address and password and click Submit. It might take a minute the first time you log in. And that will launch Photoshop. Oh wait, apparently I already had a photo open on here. Um, but it will look something like this. Um, so check out the second video after this on how to use OneDrive to access your photos in this Windows Virtual Desktop, but that is how you access the Photoshop application through the Windows Virtual Desktop. So all the Photoshop you will be doing will be within your Chrome browser. Um, it works pretty much the same way as just regular Photoshop that's downloaded on a computer. It's just all going to be within your browser.